it's your girl d and i'm back with another video what's good what's popping i hope everything is good i hope everybody's being safe all that great stuff um i'm not gonna make this video long um i'm gonna try my best not to but i want to talk about these two new medications that's out in the sickle cell community right now and i just heard about them a few months not even three or four months ago so it did they're kind of brand new but before we get into that i want y'all to do something for me please 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 from the bottom of my heart i so appreciate it go down hit that like button for me go down and comment go down to subscribe and once you subscribe hit that bell so you'll be the first one to know when i post a video so you're gonna be left out you know what i'm saying you're gonna be late You'll be the first one to know. So make sure you go do that, okay? I would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate everybody that supports me. Um, you know, sharing my videos, giving me so much encouragement, giving me so much positive vibes, y'all. Honestly, y'all keep me going for real, for real. You know, I want to make a, um, a videos of me, you know, getting the awareness out there and everything like that. But y'all really boost me, like for real, for real. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. So make sure y'all go do that. And we can start talking about this two medications. So, the last time I seen my doctor before this whole corona thing started was December, January-ish. And that's when she had told me about it. So, it was kind of new to me, honestly. And I, I was shocked, you know what I'm saying? Shocked because I'm like, well... Well, dog, where have I been? Even though I was in school at the time. I, well, I just finished school at the time. But I was like, well, dog. Okay, well, tell me about it then. Tell me about it. Shout out to my hematologist, my doctor, Dr. Martin at MUSC in, in Charleston, South Carolina. Let me tell you something here. Let me tell you something here. No cap, no cap, no cap. She is the bomb, okay? And when I say whatever I get, I don't want to say whatever I get, but whatever I need anything, um medications or you know just somebody to talk to if i'm not feeling good i can hit her up and she's just a bomb she listens to her patients she's amazing so i just want to give a shout out to my beautiful beautiful doctor that i love so 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 much but anyway so let's get back on to this but anyway do you see my sickle cell stamp right there you peeped that right there y'all peeped that ah, I know. you know but anyway so let's get into this don't mind me with my crazy stuff but anyway so these are the two brochures right here and i'm gonna start off with the um the one that you have to get once a month and it's an infusion so let's start with that so this is it now excuse me don't clown me okay about me you know trying to say these names because they're kind of hard and i know you're gonna say well ain't she a medical assistant you know, hey, she was not. Let me tell you here. I, I I barely passed pharmacology. Okay, so don't get on me. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, uh, I I'm barely holding on now at work. But anyway, <laughs> so this is called a Dacvio. A Dacvio. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is an infusion, y'all. So. You have to get this once a month. And um, I heard very good things about it, to be honest. So it says on here, it helps reduce the um, amount of crisis that we have. So if you have a lot of pain crisis, like, you know, some sicklers go through crisis every month. I don't, you know, and um. It's supposed to cut them in half which is a good thing and even for me i don't get sick that often but still i don't want to be stuck in the hospital especially when i'm working now i do not want to be stuck in the hospital you know what i'm saying especially now with corona i definitely don't want to do that uh-uh god forbid no but this is an infusion so once a month you will get the infusion and um I heard very good things about it. My doctor was telling me, you know, some of her patients at the trial studies on them, on this medication and the other medication that we about to talk, talk about. And um, she said um, the only thing 
that they had as of like side effects was just like upset stomach and that's kind of normal because your body's not used to it and your stomach might get upset so that's normal but as of like a bad reaction none so that's good that's really really good um let's see real quick i really don't want to make this too 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 long it just tells you about sickle cell as we already know but um for those who don't know sickle cell is a blood disease inherited from both your parents your um your mom and your dad has a trait and your child will come out with the disease um what else and we have these crises, what we call them pain crises, um, or, you know, episodes where you'll be in a lot of pain. And it shows right here, you know, this is a regular cell, how it's supposed to look, and this is a sickle cell. That's why it's called sickle cell with that sickle shape. Now, when the sickle cell blocks our regular blood cells, it causes us to be in an immense pain, like hella pain, to the point where we have to go to the emergency room get treated with um our treatment which is oxygen therapy fluid therapy and payments strong payments and if that does work you know we get sent home and then we'll finish out you know that crisis at home with pain pills at home or whatever if not then we have to get admitted for pain management and then if our blood is low we might have to get transferred so yeah so that's what six all is in the short thing so hopefully y'all got that or whatever but um i'm just reading the common side effects and basically it does definitely says nausea and fever and most side effects were mild to moderate so not too bad you know what i'm saying um and they tell us some helpful tips eat right um and i've been trying to do that more lately like seriously i'm greedy i ain't gonna lie but I've been really trying to do that more lately because I've been doing really good. Knock on wood. I have not been in the hospital since March, February, March. And it's about to be August. So I've been doing really, really, really good by the grace of God. And, you know, I'm really trying to, I mean, I drink water any, all day, every day. That ain't nothing new. But I really want to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more better. I'm not saying I'm a fast food eater, but when I want something, I want it. But um, I just want to get a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit better with um, what I eat. Because that statement, you are what you eat, is so true. You know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, um, I just want to get a little bit better with me eating certain things. So, yeah. And that definitely helps with a sick list, too. So, um, also, besides staying hydrated, eating well or trying to eat well helps, too. So, I'm definitely trying to get into that and my boyfriend be on me sometimes like okay babe you gotta chill out and i'm like yeah but i want it <laughs> but anyway um and that's about it so this is pretty cool you know um the only thing i don't like about this is i have a port and even though your port is supposed to be flush every six weeks, I don't want to keep accessing, deaccessing, reaccessing, deaccessing. Even though I take good care of my port, the more times you reaccess it behind each other like that, is more prone to big getting infect infection. And even though, like I said, I take care of my port and I'm very picky of who accesses it, that's the only thing. Thing. other than that i think it's good and if you know if it's really working for sicklers out there who are on the infusion i'm so glad to hear that you know what i'm saying so anybody who who is doing the infusion one leave your comments below and let me know how it's been going and everything because i want to know you know what i'm saying so that's that now i'm talking about excuse this i cannot freaking um and pronounce this so please excuse me again don't come for me um ox breeder ox breeder o x b r y t a now these are 500 milligram tablets um obviously you swallow them of course and this is um supposed to increase your hemoglobin by two points so let me explain that to those who don't know or whatever so us sicklers 
um, have are anemic, number one. And we are anemic because our hemoglobin is low. We don't have enough red cells, red blood cells. So, so um, I'm going to say, I'm going to speak for myself. My hemoglobin normally runs 7, 8, 8.5. Um, and if if I get to nine, I'll be good. You know what I'm saying? And that's very rare on my own before I get blood. But between seven, eight and a half, and once in blue moon, nine. And that's really once in blue moon. But seven, seven to eight is what I normally run. Now, I normally run seven to eight before a transfusion and before, you know, I'm taking meds or whatever. It's supposed to boost your hemoglobin by two points. So I'm normally seven, eight. It will boost me up nine, ten, which is amazing. And when I was younger, when I was on the hydria, which a sickness know what that is. That's a chemo and sickle cell meds. Um, it's like that is supposed to also cut your crisis in half, which it did when I was younger, and boost. Um, your hemoglobin, which it did when I was younger, it boosted me up to 10. But once I got older, I think my body got immune to hydria, so I stopped it when I was 26. So I haven't been taking nothing since I stopped hydria. Now, this is supposed to cut your crisis in half. So if you're having crisis every month, which is 12 times a year, it will cut it in half. So that's good. And it's supposed to boost your hemoglobin up two points which is amazing so if your hemoglobin is up that's good that means you you know you won't have to get transfusions transfusion equals iron buildup which is not good that's toxic so um this is really good we're gonna drop it <laughs> this is really good okay um the side effects is the same as the infusion my doctor told me the only thing that um they reported to her when they did the trial period was um stomach abdominal pain and nausea and right here i'm reading it the most common side effects of oxbrita is headache diarrhea stomach stomach i'm sorry <laughs> stomach abdominal pain nausea tiredness rash and fever that's normal for that's every every med side effects and she told me um she had no problems. Nobody reported any problems besides the stomach pain. But, you know, like I said, sometimes your body has to get used to it. So your stomach might be upset. And that's a normal side effect for every meds. You know what I'm saying? So, and honestly, guys, I'm going to start this one soon. Um, I'm still waiting for it to get approved by my insurance and everything like that. But I am doing this. And she, like I said, she gave me these the last time I seen her before um, Corona came. So I was thinking about it and everything. And the reason why I'm starting this is because I've been doing really good, number one. And I want to continue to do that. I really, I'm really trying to not be in the hospital as much. Not even because of the corona. And like I said, I've been doing really good too before that. But I just, now in my life, you know, I'm actually doing good in, in my life right now. And I'm actually doing good in my health too. I want to keep it that way. So that's why I want to start that. And secondly, I haven't been on any medication for sickle cell ever since I stopped the hydria back in 2016. When I was 26, I'm 30 now. So it's been four years since I've been off medication for sickle cell. Now I'm still taking my folic acid. I'm still, you know, I still got my um pain meds as needed for pain. Um, that's all I take. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to try it and give it a try. You know what I'm saying? And that would be really good for me to really get my blood back to what it was when I when I used to take meds for sickle cell. I I really wanted to get back up to nine nine or ten. That would be my biggest goal and blessing and also to cut my crisis in half even though i don't get sick as much as the sick list um I, like i said i just don't want to be in the hospital you know what i'm saying i'm doing so good right now with work and you know i'm about to do big things right now you know and just being stuck in the hospital is 
ain't it it's just not fun you know what i'm saying and it really wasted your time like what i could really be out here doing what i need to do instead of being in the hospital you know of course my health is important 24 24 7 my health is important period point blank period 100 percent. now i'm not saying that it's not but you know i'm just doing really good and i'm not i dang am damn sure ain't nothing sickle cell stop me i haven't anyway but stop me or you know pit me on pause and you know throw me you know what i'm saying i'm damn sure ain't nothing sickle cell stop me for them what i'm doing right now and what i plan on doing you know what i'm saying i'm not gonna let it ruin anything i'm just not gonna do it sickle cell no and not today and not tomorrow not next week and not ever period i'm just not hell heck no so right now i am excited on starting this to be honest um my doctor said it takes a little a little while for the insurance to push it through to approve it whatever but once it once it does you know i've been texting her and you know making sure okay what's the status what's the status what's the status because i'm ready to start taking this and um she told me a few more weeks not too much longer so i'm excited about that and once i started i will definitely let you know but those who are on it now like i said about the infusion if you're on the pill let me know in the comments i, I would love to know i would really love to know but you know um i thank god for being here anyway and i thank god for me doing what i need and want to do especially doing this corona thing keeping me safe you know what i'm saying i'm i'm so grateful and thankful and you know me being a healthcare worker it, it's just harder now and more strenuous and more stressful it was already stressful for me to be working you know on health anyway because you know what i'm saying my our immune system ain't all that great i'm taking vitamins which is building up which i'm which i'm glad about that but before this whole pandemic and everything you know you still have to be careful but now we really have to be careful and it's just so strenuous and stressful and at the end of the day i'll be so tired y'all and you already know we already be our us cigarettes already be drained on top of that because we're anemic even if you get a full good night's sleep we still be tired but we still push we don't complain you know what i'm saying well i know i don't i don't complain i just keep on pushing and then people ask me are you okay yeah i'm good no i'm gonna wear i'm tired i just want to lay down but i keep on pushing and god i ask god every day to give me the strength to keep on going keep on doing what i do i love what i do i love my job i love you know me you know being healthier i'm trying to get more healthy like i said i just don't want to be i've been doing too good probably six months since i've been out of the hospital which is amazing that's amazing you know what i'm saying and i've only been in the hospital twice this year so that's amazing and half of the year went by so sorry y'all i had lip gloss all over my thing <laughs> i know she's like what is she doing don't mind me but seriously you know and i'm just ready to you know start something and i think that this will be a good um start you know what i'm saying and actually i cut down half of my meds too which i'm glad about that not saying i was taking so much meds but i just wanted to like just cut down on them a little bit and i cut down on one of my meds which i'm glad about and hopefully when I start this new sickle cell meds, I can cut down a little bit more too. Because I don't want to be, I mean, I know I have sickle cell and I know I'm probably going to be on meds for the rest of my life. I, but I claim I'm not. I, that's the goal. I don't want to be on meds for the rest of my life. I, I don't. But the God I serve, I know for sure, <laughs> ain't going to let me be on these meds for life. So, you know, I'm just doing a little by little to get myself healthy, healthier and everything. And I'm just happy and proud of myself and yeah but anyway guys these two are the new talk of the town now like i said this been out i think since the end of 2019 but i didn't hear about it until january of 2020 so you know but it's still fairly new you know what i'm saying but this is it y'all and like i said if any fellow warriors who are already on any one of these medications please let me know in the um comments below i want to know 
you know, how is it working for you? How is it working for you? Is it doing what it's, its job, what it said it's going to do? Um, has your crisis been cut in half? Have your hemoglobin went up? Um, have you had any side effects? Let me know in, in the comments below. I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, y'all. Um, I work a half a day today, so I've been so tired, y'all. I had a long week this week. Like, I really did. I had a long week and I've been drained and that's another thing I need to check my hemoglobin because I need to know I need to see if my hemoglobin where it's at because I promise you I've been feeling more drained than usual so I need to go check that but anyway <laughs> but by the grace of God I made it so I'm grateful and thankful and I'm definitely not complaining so I'm still here and you know I just want to encourage somebody you know whatever you are going through whatever whatever you are going through just know God will never put on put more on you than you can bear. And secondly, joy comes in the morning, period. I know it may be hard right now, especially dealing with this pandemic and everything. But don't give up. Don't give up. You're still here for a reason, okay? Don't give up. And don't let the devil have satisfactory of you, you know, upset or you feeling down and everything like that. Encourage yourself. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. But sometimes we you want to hear encouragement from somebody else. So I want to encourage you. Don't let the devil win, okay? Because God has the final say. And then if you're a child of God, you're always going to come out on top. You're always going to win. It might be a little rocky right now, but I promise you, baby girl, baby boy, I promise you, you will get out of it, okay? I promise you, you will. So don't give up. Encourage yourself. And hopefully I encourage you too. But that's it, y'all. I'm about to go edit this video yes but before i do before i go before i go before i go before i go hit that like button one more time you know what i'm saying if you haven't already during this course of this video and make sure you follow me on all social media platforms on snapchat on facebook on instagram on twitter and youtube at i l p i n k nine o. okay i love pink yes that's my name boom don't judge me <laughs> make sure you go do that and subscribe to my youtube channel until next time my loves be safe out there okay Mwah.